The Daily Gospel Network, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ every day. Join our featured ministry for happiness, healing, and purpose. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us as we proclaim God's love and help you step into your season. Coming up on the Daily Gospel Network. Welcome church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. We want to share with you yeah. and your family, your family. The love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in our streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives with oh, one touch in our streets. We're 
topic for t tonight is praise him while it looks ugly. Hallelujah. Praise him while it looks ugly. Now, hallelujah, we do go through life and we understand that we go through trials and we go through tribulations. Hallelujah. And things happen that, that throw us off track. But one thing we have to understand is that we cannot lose our praise. Uh, because if we lose our praise, we lose our drive and our mobility. The, the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Uh, the devil can break all types of hellish ways in our life. Uh, but one thing God does do, he does protect us. But what he needs from us is our praise. The Bible says that he inhabits the praise of his people. Hallelujah. So we have to understand that even though that our house is all in turmoil, we cannot stop our praise. Uh, now we have to understand now here that in this chapter in 2 Chronicles uh, that we know about Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was a king. Uh, they were going to war against this law, these so, well, I believe that there were large armies uh, that could destroy them uh, because of how many people that were against them. Uh, but I have to uh, tell you now that it does not matter what you're going through in your life. Uh, take a pause and praise God uh, because you did not die what the, what the devil tried to put you in. Uh, uh, brothers and sisters, we have to understand uh, that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy him. Uh, but God come to give us life. Uh, and that's why we have to continue to give God praise. Uh, because he did not kill us uh, when he had the chance. Uh, uh, my God. Uh, Try to put cancer on you, but I still praise God. Uh, gave me diabetes, but I still praise God. Uh, in spite of it all, I still give God a high praise. Uh, uh, in the second Chronicles chapter, uh, uh, Jehoshaphat was going to work with these people. Uh, uh, my God, now before the 20th chapter, uh, they all met together in a, a conference meeting. Uh, the Bible tells us that the Spirit of the Lord came in the room uh, and God moved and told the people uh, that they will uh, be successful in this war, uh, right. in this battle. Uh, I come to tell you, brothers and sisters, uh, whatever situation you're in right now, uh, you have to take a pause and clap your hands uh, because the devil thought he will kill you, uh, but God came to give you life. Uh, yes. uh, look at them. Uh, look at somebody and say, neighbor, uh, he's giving me life. Uh, giving me life. Uh, abundantly. Uh, Yes. Uh, so Jehoshaphat uh, was talking to his people to let them know, uh, don't get caught up what's going on. Uh, praise God now, uh, because there's a move that's about to happen. Uh, and so now on the next day, uh, the Bible tells us uh, that they went to war, uh, but Jehoshaphat praisers uh, in front of the army. Ah, uh, uh, my God. Uh, that's why when you come to church, uh, you can't sit next to somebody that don't want to say nothing. Uh, I'm you on now. get next to somebody that will say something. Uh, because God is getting ready to move in our life. Uh, uh, somebody say yes, Lord. Uh, and so what we have to understand is uh, even though your life uh, has taken a turn now, God still get the praise. Yes, God. And so the next day, they went to battle and they started singing praises to the Father. Ah, oh my God. Have you ever encountered a time when you come to church and you don't want to say nothing, but your hands start to wave? Don't want to say nothing, but when the track hit the deck, you have to praise God. In spite it all God deserves the praise. Yes, he does. Clap yes, your he does. hands and give him praise tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now, Glory to God. That we have to praise God. I know people don't have to pump and prime me to give God a praise. I know what I've been through. Yes. You know what you've been through. But 
but you still got to give God praise anyhow uh, to let the devil know that he was not successful uh, killing me uh, uh, so I come to tell you tonight uh, that Jehoshaphat uh, he put these praises in front of the army uh, but the army did not have to fight uh, oh my God God lives in our praise uh, next time you go through something uh, open your mouth uh, and shout Hallelujah. Because every praise is to our God. And every word of worship is one of God. That's why you need people around you that's not going to complain about the situation. Yes. But they're going to shout in the situation. And when you shout in the situation, you yes. can get the victory out of the situation. I come to tell you tonight, whatever going on in your life uh, that's going on in your house uh, God told me to tell you praise him now uh, because right, recovery right. is on the way uh, somebody say yes Lord uh, and I come to tell you uh, in Psalms 34 uh, I believe I'm there y'all uh, the Bible tells us that I will bless the Lord yes. at all times right, uh, and his Glory to God. Shall continually be Bless in my name. mouth. I don't care what's going on at the house. I got to give him praise. Lights might be off, but I got to give him praise. You want to take the time and pause and bless God's holy name because what the devil meant for your evil, God is turning it around for your good. Somebody shot it for my preach. good. And I come to tell you tonight that even though we go through trials and tribulations, sometimes we don't want to open our mouth to give them praise come on because now. the enemy is on our back. But if you pray God, you will shake the dust up to let the devil know that God is giving me life. Oh my God. So the Bible tells us that the war came and they started to praise God. And the enemy started to destroy themselves because God hid in some people that's going to destroy them. Yes. And I come to tell you. In spite of it all, open your mouth. In spite of it all, open your mouth and bless God's holy name. Because you're getting ready to do it. You also look at your neighbor and say, hey, neighbor, God's getting ready to do it in my life. And I, I come to tell you, Oh! 
everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to our broadcast on today and as you can see uh, Bishop Rice gave us a dynamic word on this past week I'm telling you and we want to thank everyone who actually came and participated everyone on the zoom that was there and you have a few special people you want to thank Listen, I just want to say thank you to everybody. We thank God for the Rice family. Yes. We thank God for Brother Austin, Minister Austin. Yes. Wonderful soul. I'm telling you. And Zoe and LJ, they yes. were phenomenal. Yes, they but listen, were. Listen, when I'm telling you, you have to check out this message. It, you have to check the message out. It, it's amazing. Okay. Yes. And it blessed my entire life. I mean... My house is not that big, but I really felt like I was going to run around the whole entire house. I could have ran around the whole neighborhood, okay? The okay. whole neighborhood. The whole neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to also thank our wonderful um, youth department who blessed us with the announcements, Mr. Uh, Miles, Miles Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mr. Miles Arthur is awesome. He's amazing. He's an upcoming um, actor. He's doing so many great things in the acting field and when I tell you he put his skills to work yes. okay yes work. He did. <laughs> so we thank you work. thank you so much for joining us on that day yes and um, also um, we're going to be in North Carolina not North Carolina South Carolina South Carolina with Bishop yes. Rice Woo! yes Jesus yes. make sure you guys tune in <laughs> for that yes uh, as well as um, with us. Oh, if you want to view the entire message, because I know yes. that we did not get a chance to yes. show you the entire message, make sure you go to our Facebook page. Amen. Our One Touch Ministries Facebook page. And I'm telling you, it's, uh, the whole entire message is just going to bless you. So exciting. We got a chance to go out and hang out afterwards. Listen, when I tell you we had some fellowship time, we yes. had some fellowship time. And I am the kind of person, you know, I enjoy people, but I don't accept everybody into my personal family and my personal life. Well, the Rice family, yes. Brother Austin, yes, they got the like, they got the love, they got yes. the click. 
They got yes. the tag. Yes. <laughs> they got everything from me. You know, and I really enjoy authentic ministry, authentic people, and they are phenomenal. And it's good to be able to fellowship with people, enjoy people, and just have love for one another. Absolutely. Like it was really great. I enjoyed it. It really was good. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next week, we have an awesome, awesome word from Woo! Oh my God, y'all gonna see live action. <laughs> when I say live action, you're gonna see live action. Prophetess <laughs> Naditra Young, you understand me? She gave this word on this past Sunday. Listen, I, all I'm gonna say is I am a servant and, and not, not a, a messenger. messenger. <laughs> Make sure you guys tune in next week. God bless you, we love you. on today's Spotlight Church, visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network. And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.